What's going on, y'all boys? I'm back at it again with another video. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this project I've been working on for the last month and one week. So I've been working on this project for like 40 days now, but I'm finally done with it, or at least version 1.8. I know I did like eight different versions, but I'm finally done with it. And I'm gonna be showing you guys what's up with it and what I've been doing. But before I get into that, I'm very excited for this exam I got coming up. The Network Plus exam, I have it coming up on the 30th. It's on the 30th, and I'm just, I can't wait for that. But I got the one on the 30th, and then I got my PCEP on the 23rd. So one of them is a certificate that says that I know how to program in Python, and the other one is something that says that I know how to network with computers and all that, you know. All right, so I'm going to show you guys my project done. Now, I already know if y'all returning viewers, but it's probably y'all first time seeing me without a do-rag on. I don't know. That'd be a little weird, but, you know, for me. So, um, yeah, I had to stop that. I got a little retwist, but let's go ahead and uh, get to it, though. All right, so what I'm going to be showing you guys is basically I made a port scanner that has geo IP lookup, domain resolution, shoulder lookup, CVE lookup, it has subdomain lookup, and it has threading in it. So you can scan a thousand ports in literally one second. It's just, I don't know, it's just something that's so cool. I'm going to show you guys, hold on, I made an executable right here. But before I show you guys that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys the prerequisites to it. And because it's been a long journey. So look, so look, if I go ahead and open this up, go to my network tools, I go to NSM port scanner. Here's all the versions of it. And don't mind this, because I lost my USB that had all my projects and I recently got it back. But we back at it though. So look, I'm going to show you guys version one, because this is really crazy. Look. This is what the first version looked like. I type in google.com and let's see how slow it goes. And keep in mind, this this version only scans like 10 ports at max. Like it, I literally have a list of like 10 ports. You see how it took 10 seconds? And then we got version eight, six, five. Let's, let's go to version three. Let's see what this is about. Okay, let's type in google.com. And then as you can see, it's getting better and better. Now let's go to the most updated current version. 1.8 default file path created oh yeah the older version uses a different file path i forgot about that but look let's go ahead and type in google.com and as you can see here we get a notifications we got a subdomain lookup we have a geo lookup and we have all 1000 common ports scanned just like that in one second like infinity snap one second you feel me and we also got domain resolution right here so if you really wanted to let's say you want to look at the scan results right before we even look at the scan results let's go to the official version i'm gonna go ahead and close this out close this out close this out let's go ahead and open up the executable it took me like two hours to get this working so boom in total i have 233 scans okay so as you see now now it says netvon 1.1 because it's now executable as y'all can see so we got to change it up so boom, I have a total of 233 scans and that's only after I made version 1.7. Before that, I have probably, in total, I probably have a thousand scans. I'm gonna I'm keep it so real with y'all boys. But look, let's go ahead and do a little scan though. NSM, nsmbari.com. And you look, look at all them results in one second. Look at the time it took, one second. So look, boom, we can see the domain, which is my Shopify. We got ports from Shodan. We got host names, and as you can see, the service is by Cloudflare. So because of that, when you try to search up the direct IP, it blocks it. So we can't even look at the service version, which is why you really got to play around with it. Because um, when you try to search up domains that are owned by Cloudflare, it is very, very protected. That's the one thing. I, that's why I chose Cloudflare to host my website. But look, over here, we got the geo lookup. We got the organization, time zone. We got coordinates. We got country, city. You feel me? We got really everything we need. We even got the host name up here and the postal. We got all 1,000 ports. So look, let's say we want to, let's say, boom, we just exit the program. And let's say we don't walk away. When I walk away, I come back. And let's say now I want to see my results and I don't want to redo it. Or I forgot what I typed in. You know, boom, I open up the program, right? I tap three, go to scan results. Don't mind that. I just, I've been doing a lot of programming and I've been doing a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Just don't mind that, guys. I've just been doing a lot of things. But we got the amount of closed ports, open IP address, domain name. And if there's a vulnerability found, it's going to be right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here. We got the, or we got the ports, the IP address, we got geographical info. And if there's any subdomains open, it's going to pop up right here. 
We got the ports along with a service right next to it, and we also got a timestamp. And as you can see, it's for each and every scan we do. It, it automatically saves any and all scans you do. That might be flawed, but that was my way of thinking when I did it. Keep in mind, I only been working on it for about a month, and I literally been programming for 71 days, about two months, a little over that. So you feel me? That's literally half of my time. So boom. Y'all want to see a full scan do? I got you. I know y'all do. So look, let's do it on a, a vulnerable website. We're gonna do von. We're gonna do von.com. Let's see if that's a website. And as you can see, I probably think it's going to take a, a little minute because it has 65,000 ports. No way it's going to take 30 seconds, bar. Like, come on now. Your scanner ain't that like that. <laughs> Y'all was saying 20 seconds. You feel me? But I'm um, boom, though. No, feel me? 65,524 closed ports. We have 11 open ports. We got HTTP, SMNTP. Feel me? We got all the major ports that really any service provider has open, open right now. You know, we got organization infos on by Amazon AWS, and then we got the time zone, subdomains, and as you can see right here, we got an API error because right now I'm using the um the API by Shodan for this, and sometimes it doesn't let me query it to get scan results because of the fact that it's a little it has like it's very weird sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I think they have a rate limiting, so sometimes I can't even get results out of it when I want to. And on top of that, if I search up the same name over and over, it just blocks me. But like I said though, when I make version 2.0, official version 2.0, you know, for the executable, probably in about like a couple months, that's gonna really solve any and all problems with this version at least for the most part. So let's go ahead and go to settings though. I know y'all wanna see that. So as you can see, I can change the display name. Let's change it to YouTube. So let's say we go to the main menu. Now it says YouTube. Let's say we want to change the notification settings. So let's say I want it so when we do a scan, it's not on. Now it's off. Let's do a quick scan. Boom. Nothing there. It's off now. So we got the API key that we enter here. This is mine. Y'all not familiar to see it for obvious reasons. Then we got the Shodan key. Once again, y'all not familiar to see it for obvious reasons. If you ever feel like you got a problem with your Shodan lookup and you want to know why it's not working or you just want to see what's wrong with it or your credits, anything like that, etc., you could always come here within the program and it's going to show all results for it, like account results, you know. It's going to show your scan credits, your usage limits. It's going to show all that. Right now, I got zero scan credits, but I'm still able to do scans and get results. So I really don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's very weird, but... It would be cool if this video, let's say that, what if this video just got popular and then Shodan just come and look at my video and see this and they, I don't know, they give me an offer or some shit like that. That would be cool, but who knows though. And then the last API key we have is NVD. And this one is very, very, very weird. Like I, try, I struggled with this for about a week and I have two weeks and I just, Sometimes it'll work and sometimes it wouldn't. By sometimes, I mean 2% of the time. So I just really, I'm leaving it alone at this point because I can't figure out why it's not working and why it doesn't want to work. So we just want to leave it at this point. I'm going to come back to it in version 2. But if anybody, I'm making the, the script open source and it's on GitHub. So if anybody want to play around with it or if they figure out how it works and you happen to be watching this video, go ahead and let me know, man. I'd love to see that. I ain't going to lie. So we can also turn APIs on or off. Look, I just turned them off. Boom. As you can see, no API information showed up. And the scan was still quick regardless. And let's say I want to clear my scan results. I'm going to just go ahead and tap 7. And now, no scan results. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been saving them scan results for weeks, bro. Just to show you how now it's clear like that. That's crazy. And let's say we want to flush the DNS. We're going to flush it. And just so, and in case y'all think it's only for Windows, nah. No, I have a whole function made specifically for if you're on Linux or Mac. So if you try to flush the DNS and you're not on Windows, you know, Windows, it's what? OS.system, IP config, flush DNS. I know on Linux is way, way, way more complicated depending on what type of version or OS you got. So I made a whole function for different versions and all that. So it's cross-platform, cross-capabilities, all that, you know. So let's say we want to view the host info. I got my host name, my local IP, OS processor. I got all the good stuff, man. This script is fully compact. And then we could also make it so we don't have to see the scan results in case y'all don't want to see that. So, boom, it's not there no more. Let's go back to settings. And then we got error logging right here. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of debugging. Debugging and debugging and debugging. And, but, um, 
these are all the errors that I get and I have it so that it puts in a couple ports that fail to scan in here might regret that but out of all them scans I just did I only have these amount it's really not an, an error but some people might find that very useful so I kept it in for that reason I really should have made it so that it I, damn now that I think about it, I should have made it so that it puts the port number along with the error I might go back and change that but look, let's say we want to clear the error log 101 go back to it boom empty once again I say that just for y'all boys but look so we're gonna go ahead and turn back on my scan uh, my scan display all right now let's go ahead and look at the help menu y'all boys look at this though these are the libraries we use I got my contact info oh, I forgot to put my discord here I'm gonna fix it by the time y'all get the script it's gonna be fixed don't even worry about it but my discord's gonna be right here I got my Twitter reddit github I got all that I got all the libraries I used API's and then over here I have a description for what the full port scan is compared to the common port scan the full port scan does the subdomain lookup of all these subdomains right here all of them and then it does a full port scan of all 65,535 ports now the common port scan only does a thousand and twenty four and it only has this many subdomains so as you can see depending on how you want to go with it you could do a full in-depth scan or just a common simple scan you know what I'm saying then after all that I have an about menu which is about me and my work on this start date 12 12 end date 1 16 2025 so that's my script I hope y'all boys love it though man y'all let me know what y'all think got my connection status up here oh one more thing look let's say I just keep getting it wrong and let's say I finally get something right that's a little something I got in the top of the screen right look see <laughs> that was just something fun that I thought was cool. But let me know what y'all think about this script, though, man. Check out my GitHub, though. I appreciate y'all boys for watching. If y'all like the video, let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what y'all think. And if y'all do check out the script, man, I hope y'all enjoy it. But I'm going to see y'all boys later, though. Y'all take care. Peace.